How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Video Proc Converter YouTube channel. My name is EK1 Gaming and today we're going to be showing you how to convert any video file into a GIF or a GIF or however you want to pronounce it. Let me know in the comment section below how you pronounce it. Do you pronounce it with a G or a J? It'll be interesting to see how many people pronounce it differently. However, if you do find this helpful, overall, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time we upload content on this channel. The helpful tutorials will continue through 2022 for this amazing free software. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So to start with, you're going to want to download VideoProc Converter. The link will be in the description below, so you can just click it to get to this page. If not, you can go to VideoProc.com and go to VideoProc Converter. Now there is a free download and a paid version, and the paid version right now has some amazing offers on, so be sure to check those out. So of course, to start with, open up VideoProc Converter and click the Video tab. You'll be faced with this interface, which we've seen many times before on a lot of the other videos on this channel. And the first thing to do is check your hardware acceleration engine or just check your settings are correct. For me, I am using an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card. Just make sure that says your correct information. Also make sure all of these are ticked. If they are not, just click recheck and it should pick up on your hardware. Now to get into the GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it, all you have to do is click Toolbox down the bottom right. Once you've clicked Toolbox, it will give you the option for GIF slash GIF. All you have to do is click on it. Now just add a couple of videos or one video that you want to make into a GIF or GIF. So we're going to pick this video here. This is one of the Destiny 2 videos I clipped earlier. Just a random video so we can show you how to do this. Now make sure that is highlighted and just double click it. And then it will bring up your video in this screen here. It will automatically start playing the video. Now the top cursor here is to move the video. So different parts of the video. And then the bottom two cursors, the green two ends, you can drag them in at a start time and an end time. However, it may be easy for you just to type in the start time and type in the end time because you can get it dead on. So for me, if we go towards the end, we're going to make a clip for Twitter. So here, if I remember, I go under the map. So we're just going to have a bit of a, a GIF or a GIF uh, like clip where we can show it off uh, in a funny way. So there we go. We fall under the map there. So if we just go back slightly, and if we stay there, so we go from uh, 10 minutes. So you can put either drag this down to 10 minutes. So, or you can just type it in here. And that should be zero and 10 minutes to start. And then the end, if we just wait for me to fall under and die, there we go. We'll end it at 10.21, which is the end of the clip anyway. You can end it a little bit shorter if you want to, but that's completely up to you. So let's just end it actually there. Here we go. We're going to end it at 10.07. So we've just dragged this time here. So it's 10 minutes start and 10.07 finish. Now what you can do, and there is really important things here, so please listen to what I'm about to say. One of those things is loop time. Do you want it to go once? So do you want it to play once and stop? Or do you want it just to keep on playing over and over? Or pick one of these amounts of times? You can't pick a actual time, so you can't pick like 27 because it's only the presets. I usually have mine on forever. And then also, this is really important, image size. If I put this to keep original, my original is 1440p, which means you're not going to be able to upload this to Twitter. Now, if you're aiming to upload to Twitter, it has to be under 15 megabytes um, for the file size. So all you're going to want to do is drop it down to 720. It doesn't have to be high quality. It's a GIF or a GIF or whatever you want to call it. It's not something that's actual content where you need people to be able to read the writing. They just need to be able to see the gist 
of the actual footage or of the actual GIF. And then you can um, basically just play around with editing it afterwards. But for me, I always put it onto 720 because I know that puts the file size right down. Now, the duration is seven seconds. So you can see here, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, seven seconds. Just make sure that tallies up. And then you can pick your frame delay. So if you want it to be really slow, you know, you can delay it by one second. Each frame will be one second. Or just leave it on 0 0.50. That's what I do. Or sometimes drop it down to 0.35 and go from there. So what we're going to do then is click done. And then all you're going to want to do as normal is click run. Now, it will take slightly longer than converting videos, but it doesn't take that long. You see, it's like literally a couple of seconds. I didn't speed anything up. We have it here. This is one I made earlier just to um, try and get um, the file size down. But as you can see, it's 317. So we're well within it. I'm going to show you now if we did do it as a, say, keep original. We're going to run that. So this will be 1440p, but I'll show you the difference in file size because it really does make a huge difference. And if you are posting this on social media, which I assume you are going to if you're creating um, one of these, I don't know what the limits are for kind of Facebook and stuff, but Twitter, which is very popular for GIFs and GIFs, it's uh, 15 megabytes maximum. And I believe this actually goes up to like 30, maybe 20 something. We'll see now. Again, it takes a little bit more time, the higher the quality, but it does stop here at 91 normally and then just gives a few seconds and it will, uh, it will finish it up for us. So let's take a look at what the file size is for 1440p, uh, which is the here. So it's 34 megabytes. So you can see the huge difference from thir 3 megabytes to 34. So in my opinion, there's no point. I'll, I'll open it for you guys so you can see it. You can see it. There you go. GIF. Up. Dead. And it re goes. So it's on a constant loop. And then I'll play the 720. It's obviously smaller. You don't really lose much of the quality of it. It's just a lot smaller. But on Twitter, this is the recommended um, upload. So basically, go ahead then, upload it to Twitter. It's all done. You don't have to do anything else. Enjoy making those gifts. Send me your gifts. So if you are posting some on Twitter, just tag at ek one gaming tv or hashtag ek one gaming tv on your gifts and i'm going to check some of them out and i'm just going to have a have a bit of a look to see what you guys create you can do this with any file types don't worry if it's mp4 avis you can do it with any types at all and also it can be obviously from your camera it could be a gif of you it could be gameplay like this just let me know in the comment section below if this is helpful for you let me know how many gifts you create using this software. I've created a lot right now, and I think I'm going to be posting a lot more GIFs on my Twitter. So with that being said, take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video.